custom commands allow you to basically define aliases for anything you could also enter into the input box down here so like chat messages or regular commands and you can define custom commands in the settings here just add one and type slash and the name of the command and the name of the command is everything up to the first space basically and everything after the first space is what the command actually does so for example output the chat message hello world and save and if you enter hello it outputs that message so it basically acts as if it would enter what you what the command translates to into the input box down here and of course if you don't have a command in front of that um, like not that command like only this um, then it just outputs it as a chat message so that's basically the most basic way of defining a custom command another thing is that you can also use parameters let's look at this slab command here for example which also shows that you can use um, commands inside the custom command so regular commands like the me command which outputs it as a action message and what you also have here is the uh, notation here with the dollar signs and that means it's a required parameter and the one here means that it's it should use the first parameter and the da little dash here means that it should use also everything after the first parameter so to make it a little bit more clear, clear just enter the command and test and as you can see it replaces this part here with what you enter after the command and if you specify more than one parameter parameters are always stuff that's separated by a space then it puts both parameters there and if you were to remove that dash it would only take the first one as you can see it only takes this one and if you were to change this to a two then it would only take the second parameter and if you do it like this then it's not a required parameter anymore because it only has one dollar sign so this still works as you would expect it takes the first parameter but if you enter it without anything without any parameter it just doesn't replace it with anything so that of course doesn't really make much sense like this because it's not really a complete sentence so you can use a required parameter for this to basically as a safeguard that it only outputs the message if it actually makes sense or executes the command so if you do it like this then it only outputs an error message like this and doesn't actually execute the command so that's basically it with this defining custom commands but there's also one other thing how you can use them you don't only um, can use them like entering in the input box down here like regular commands you can also use them in the user context menu the channel context menu and the user info dialog so let's take this command for example a permit command which like this is sometimes used for like chat box uh, chat bots to uh, permit users to post a link or something like that so using it like this like entering it into the input box doesn't really make much sense because this and this is basically exactly the same length but you can add this command to the user context menu like this just enter a slash and the name of the command without any parameters and then it will be added to the user context menu and if you click on this then it outputs the command and replaces the first parameter with the name of the user you clicked on so the context user context menu automatically provides the name of the user 
you clicked on as the first parameter. So you can use that when you define custom commands for the user context menu. You can also add stuff to the general context menu like this one and it adds it to there like if you right click anyone in the channel and you can output stuff like that. It doesn't define, uh, it doesn't provide a parameter. The channel context menu doesn't provide a parameter like the user context menu does, but you can add stuff like the, the stuff on there that doesn't require one. You can also add commands to the user info dialog, basically the same notation as as here, and you can also add more than one command and just separating them by a comma or a space, and you have both in there. So yeah, you can also add stuff to the user context, uh, to the user info dialog, and then it adds it as an extra button here alongside the timeout buttons, which you can, by the way, also edit here. Like if you just enter a number, it interprets it as a as seconds, and otherwise, if you add like a, um, M back there, it's it's minutes, and you can also add like one hour or one day and stuff like that. So that can be useful if you want to customize the timeout buttons. So either way, um, if you add a permit commands there, you can also just click on there and it has the same effect as in the user context menu. It also provides the name of the user as the first command, uh, the first parameter. And one other thing is if you enter two slashes in front of the command, like only in the user context menu and the user info dialog settings down here, then it puts the command into the special menu called more here. So that can be used to kind of get custom commands out of the way a little bit so you don't clutter up the context menu too much. So that can be useful for that. And you can also do the same in the user info dialog. And in that case, it adds the button down here in an extra row of buttons. So if you don't want to get it too wide, if you have like a couple of custom commands here, you can add it like there, or if you just want to have it separated from the moderation buttons, of course, it's also a possibility. And one other thing for the context menus is if you add this like vertical line here, then it adds a separator in front of that menu item. As you can see, there's a separator here now. And the same works in the general context menu as a separator here now. And it doesn't really do anything in the um, in the user info dialog, so you don't really doesn't really make sense to use it here. Okay, so that's basically it with custom commands. You can define custom commands with or without parameters, and you can add them to context menus and the user info dialog. Maybe one last example, another example how you can use it with regular commands, like uh, if you want to, for example, have a um, entry in here that sets a special address book category, like if you don't want to navigate in here, if you just want to have it set one special address book category, like set star for example, then you can use the address book command, address book add, and then the name as parameter, and then star as the category, then you can add it to the to the context menu. And by the way, if you use um, an underscore in the command and add it to the context menu, then it automatically gets replaced with a white space. So that way you can use spaces in commands where you normally couldn't use them because of course command names can't contain a space. So like that should be fine, I guess. And then you have this entry in here and it automatically 
executes that command. Of course, in this case, it didn't really do much because I already was in that category. Yeah, like that, it executes that command. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, so I think this can be pretty useful for some cases. And of course, as always, click on the little link down here to open the help. There's a lot of information in there, which I recommend you to read if you want to use this feature to the fullest potential. And of course, in general, read the help because there's a lot of information in there that might be useful to you. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.